so hey guys today i'm going to show you how to do this effect so first of all you need to open fusion studio or you can also use the winchable application so after opening the application you have to take a background node and take a rectangular mask and connect with it and take the background one to the viewer one as you can see it's uh, the masking that uh, is created this kind of shape so we want it to create a bar like that and after that we want to set the color so select the background one and set the color type to the gradient and choose the starting point and choose the color whatever we want so i'm gonna choose this color and in the end color you have to choose black color and um, decrease the alpha like that so that we can get this kind of opacity gradient and after that you have to drag this so we don't get this kind of edge effect so we don't want it so you have to decrease that like that so after that you have to select the background one and go to image section and you have to set the height and width to the same so we have to so i'm gonna take a thousand for the width and for the height i'm gonna set to thousand also and after that we have to take a node that uh, we have to search for it coordinate space and add to the background so select the coordinate space and take to the viewer tool so first in the default this will be the effect so we don't want that so we want to polar to rectangular so you can see we get this kind of effect so after that take another background node and connect with the ellipse mask and uh, select the background too and take this uh, take this uh, color picker and just uh, set the color and drag the uh, drag the background to to the viewer too so we get this kind of effect so just merge it with the coordinate space so this is our foreground and this is our background. So drag the margin to the viewer too and resize the ellipse mask and uh, just move it to the front of the circle like that and select the ellipse mask and uh, increase the soft edge like that and adjust the position to your accordingly. So I'm gonna set it like that and I'm gonna increase the size a little bit like that and then I'm gonna select a and select this uh, March one and then take a transform node so this is our transform node and create a keyframe for angle and set the endpoint for the animation this is a uh, plane so now we have to take the another effect so select the transform one and right click on it and insert tool you have to select crocodo so this is a free plugin from reactor you can get it from reactor so after that you have to go to image pixel and select the duplicate node so it will add this node and select the duplicate and drag it to the viewer tool so you can see this is the effect we want so we have to adjust it a little bit so there is many options so we're gonna set this PL so after that we have to decrease this so we get this kind of effect so if I now play this you can see a nice animation is created so if you want to uh, increase the speed you can go to transform one and in the end point you have to just decrease the angle so if i now play it you can see the time of is spinning is uh, fast enough so so you can control it like that so that's it for this video and i will see you in the next video